Do you struggle to hit the ball off the square? Do you want to hit sixes like these guys over here? Then we have the perfect draw set for you. The first draw set is going to be focusing on hand speed. To do this, we are going to start off by taking two bats and swinging them with a nice complete swing from back to front. The added weight is going to make sure that we swing through it and also make sure that our body gets used to swinging through the line of the ball. Moving on from here, we're going to move on to some rapid fire pulls. This is important because it forces quick hand speed, but at the same time it allows our hands the freedom of movement to hit through the ball while elongating our swing, giving us more power. How the draw works is the thrower takes five balls, throws them underarm, one after the other. You go check pull, check pull, check pull, and then on the last one, you go a nice big full swing through the ball, nice completion to make sure that your body gets used to it. For the second phase, we are going to be looking at hitting from a strong base but we're going to add some extra momentum to make it tougher to hold that base. So that if you hold the base here, you know you can do it when you're under the most pressure. The throw is going to stand a little bit in front of the batter and they're going to do some pop-ups. The batter is going to double step and hit the ball and try and keep in that base without following through. So it's not a conventional double step, but we're still hitting with power through the contact point and trying to keep both feet on the ground. It's important that when you are completing your swing, you keep in the shape that figure nine shape, all the way to the top of the swing. This is really important because doing this ensures that when we have a strong base, we have a lot of power points to work from when you're trying to hit the ball far. For this one, and I'm going to use the word set again, we're going to be doing a set of draws to make sure that we're hitting strong from our base, but having the completion of the swing. We're going to start off by already being in a front foot set position, and the thrower is going to pop the ball slightly in front of the batter, and they're just going to hit through, extending the shot, trying to clear the ring, hitting it upwards at a good trajectory. For this, with the swing, you can finish all the way through the top of the swing to make sure that all of that momentum of your swing is going through the ball, and that we are not wasting any of our potential power. To move on from this, we are now going to be doing some slow overarm throws. So we can get used to doing this when the ball is coming towards us and with the added bounce. Still making sure that we can hit through that point with the extra pressure, making sure that our points of reference, our feet are still, our head is still, and a nice big swing through the ball are all maintained to the completion of the shot. As you know in cricket, we're not going to get everything perfectly in that full slot. And the ball might be shorter sometimes. For this, you're going to go through the same concept, but instead of using the top hand to guide the swing arc, the bottom hand is going to take slightly over and we're going to look to drag the ball more to a mid-wicket area, making sure that we have a full extension of the arms through the contact point and a nice completion of the swing over our shoulders. Watching our videos, you see a lot of drills that we do, but it isn't in a specialized program that's going to help you guys get better. We have created specific training programs that will take you through the skills and drills and the quantities required. We'll link them in the description below. Moving on to our second phase, we are now going to be doing a drill where we pop the ball over, which is going to make us have to follow the ball so our momentum goes towards it, at the same time forcing our hands to extend through the contact point. I'm going to be honest with you guys, you don't see Zenon smile a lot, but he absolutely loves this draw, and every time we do it, there's a smile on his face. What's important here is that the thrower stands behind the batter and pops a slow underarm past the batter's eyes. As it goes past the batter's eyes, they're going to say go. The batter is then going to try and follow the path of the ball, have a nice full swing through it, and allow the momentum to still take them forward, making sure that the hands hit the ball and continue moving forward. The fact that the ball is going away from you forces the hands to keep following that line, which is going to help with the completion of the swing, which gives us more power because we have a fuller swing. Bigger swing equals more power in general terms. Go. Nice. <laughs> That's when <laughs> trust gets you misled. <laughs> Moving on to the final part of this video, we are now going to call it a drill. I just like to make Zenon's life difficult, to be honest. For this drill, the throw is going to throw overarms, and the batter's goal is to try and hit every ball as far as they can, while keeping in the shape and using the elements from the previous four sections to the best of their ability, making sure that we have a nice, solid base, nice full swing, head still, and good contact point. This is to help us find our range, to find which balls we can take on and which balls are potentially not within our range to hit. It's important that we keep working through this to know that if the ball is anywhere near that error, you back yourself 100% of the time to hit massive sixes and take the game away from the opposition. It's important to understand when you're going into a draw like this what the success factor is. The success is trying to take the ball on and seeing where you can hit it. If you make mistakes, that's fine. It's part of the learning experience, which is going to make you better. Failure here would be being too scared to try and take the shots on and then not learning where your ranges are and then you won't be able to use it ever in a game situation. A massive thank you to all our members that help make these videos possible. 
their names will be on the screen right now. Also, if you did enjoy this video, please leave a like below. We really do appreciate it. And finally, if you want to check out our 100K special, it's been over here. Have you ever wondered why Zenon looks world class in these videos? There's this old saying that goes, you're only as good as the throw allows you to be. Then I must be spectacular. <laughs>